Hey, welcome back, beautiful Libra. Thank you for joining me here. Hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for your generosity. All your likes, your comments, your subscriptions. It, it's truly a blessing doing your readings, Libra. Thank you for the opportunity, and I hope it assists you. Libra. Libra's messages, spirit. Transition. Trust. Ooh, conviction. And adaptability. This is empathy. Discipline. Okay, what's this about for Libra? If somebody has actually transitioned over, my deepest sympathies, this could also be what this is. What's going on? Loneliness. Anger. Logic. And kindness. A deep knowing. What's going on? Somebody could have transitioned. Don't adapt to the energy in the room. Influence it. Someone is a clairvoyant. Someone could be picking up on the energy of someone. You're an empath, whoever I'm talking to. You I'm going to come right out and say it. Somebody could have lost a child, and if so, my deepest condolences and sympathies if you're a clairvoyant you could be picking up on a child's spirit for others of you it is a transition a transformation Some of you, geez. it is a transformation. Someone's bored, discontent, 
Choose wisely. A triumphant success. Somebody's emotionally withdrawn. This person's going through a transformation, whoever this is. They're angry, they're jealous, and they are envious. Because quite honestly, they're jealous that you're getting fulfillment of wishes. You're abundant, you're fertile, you're doing a lot of growth. You could be an influencer, you could be influencing the room. A soul star. Don't adapt to the energy in the room, influence the room. This person could have been going through some midlife crisis or they're conflicted the universe is here telling you to trust your intuition you are getting a victory a success this is justice this is balance this is patience Oh, they're trying to resist temptation. Well, they're going through an ascension, they're going through a tower. Getting the truth about something. They are. They're going through an awakening. Saturn. Tough love was necessary. So this person had an immature side to them that needed to be shed. And spirits giving them towers to put them through into an awareness. Some things are meant to remain a mystery for your highest good, to let the universe surprise you. In order for the universe to work with you, be willing to take a risk and go down the rabbit hole to discover a new world. Divine timing. A time, see this person? They broke their promises. They kept breaking their promises. It says, don't hold on to too much to people's promises or words at this time. Things are not likely to turn out as you have hoped. You are unique and your life is your own. Build a routine that works for you and helps stabilize your life. You have the power to manifest your dreams into reality. And you, it's telling you to use this energy to make positive changes. Don't be a part of the room. Influence the room. This person is very confused. Because doors are opening up for you. It's time where you can achieve a lot and make big changes. Dreams. Something will be revealed to you in a dream. 
something is brewing. Spirit's encouraging something special is brewing. It will flow naturally and beautifully, be smooth and painless. bright future. This person's confused. Why are you manifesting? How are you able to manifest? This is the truth. This is success. This is a victory. They're confused about it could have been a transformation. For some of you, this is patience, this is balance, the angels, while you sleep, okay, dreams, someone is heavily burdened. This person is feeling this is good news of prosperity coming to you. This person's under judgment, heavy judgment for something. You're getting good news of prosperity. This person is weighted down with this other lover. He, something's wrong here. They're confused. And there is some kind of jealousy and envy. They are watching you. Someone is... Confused, jealous. Someone is watching you get good news, watching you or hearing about you. Um, so you're looking the opposite way. It's not you. You're not spying. The spying is coming from this direction over here some kind of hurt some things are meant to be a mystery until it is meant to be revealed what is going on? The secret keeper. It's to let the universe surprise you. Some things are meant to be a secret to allow the universe to surprise you. This person is bored. 
is discontent, confused, mentally conflicted. You're manifesting. Now this person, foolish pride. They're defensive. They're trying to resist the devil. I'm telling you, they are. They're trying to resist temptation. Whoa, this is different. So they're trying to resist temptation. It's looking like they turned someone down. They're, they're legitimately trying to resist temptation here. What's going on? Oh my God. You know why they're confused? It's almost like they're confused. There could be a karmic child involved here. They're confused. They're like, what do you mean? Uh, I'm resisting temptation here. What is this all about? The truth. Okay, what's going on? They're angry. Okay, what's going on? They're stressed out. What the hell is going on here? I swear that some they're becoming aware of something. Something may have happened to you in your life. Something may have happened to you in your life that they have become aware of. This is becoming aware of something. It, it's a king of wands becoming aware of a truth. Um, this is awareness. Now, they're pissed off at it's becoming aware of the truth about a child. Now, like I said, if you've lost a child, if you have lost a child, then this will be a special meaning for you. If you have recently lost a child who is actually transitioned over, it would seem as if this busybody who's been spying on your life has found out something 
about your child's passing. This person, they're sitting there drinking, carrying on, and this person may have known the person that was in your life or your child. It's turning them off. Whatever this karmic is saying is turning them off. Like they're getting mad at this third party for like talking about you. This person is worried about you. They are. Like the karmic and the karmic friends could be talking about what's going on in your life. This person is in defense mode and this person is angry and pissed off at them for whatever they're saying because this person knows that they're fucking lying. I told you they're very protective. Now they have respect for you no matter what they have done to you. They have a certain amount of respect here. This is dignity, high honor. This is someone with integrity. They view you as someone with integrity. Despite what has happened in your relationship, God will forbidden if something ever happened to one of your children, they would lose their mind. And I think they're losing their mind over the fact that somebody is talking about your children or is sticking their nose in your business. Like this person, they themselves would say, I'm so very sorry to hear about this. This is offering condolences. So they don't like what the third party is saying about your children. Now, on the same token for others of you, yeah, it's like, I'm sorry to hear about so-and-so. Yeah, it is actually hurting this person to hear what the other person has to say. Like, this could be an adolescent, this could be a child, this could be somebody who this person was quite friendly with. You may have just lost somebody important to you, or you may have just lost somebody who... Um, Some of you, it is a child. So this person may know that you're going through some sort of depression. They might assume that, not like you're saying anything to them, but like you could be lonely, you could be depressed. I'm terribly sorry if that has happened to anybody, but it's like they can relate to the fact that maybe you're a parent Maybe you are um, someone who is, you know, they respect you. 
They may have respected this person. And it's really hurting them that someone may have disrespected them. Like this karmic getting their two cents in. After all, this could be family. You know what I'm saying? This person had respect for your family. They had respect. Uh, respect the legacy, you know. I, I respect the tradition. I, I respect the family. Despite how you two got along, they still can have respect here for your family. So maybe you've lost someone in your family or have gone, somebody has transitioned in your family. Um, uh, they're going to know that you're dealing with feelings here of depression and sadness and hurt and all those things that you go through. But this fucking karmic over here has got a big freaking mouth and it is repulsing this energy that someone would be that immature, that cold, that callous to talk about your family member. Like they know that you're genuine. They know that you were a good parent, a good mother. All right? They don't question your parenting abilities. They know you're, you're solid here. The Queen of Pentacles is someone who is so grounded, very dedicated, very nurturing. They are a good parent. Uh, they may have said some hurtful words. It's like it's a turn off to them. It's like they're turned right off of whatever this. They're getting some kind of awareness of like who this person really is. How cold and calculating they can be. How vicious they can be. Like this person is actually... They could be concerned about you or worried about you. They could be fighting and arguing about you. Like, makes them reflect, it makes them think, you know. I told you, there's nobody better as a parent than an empress, a queen of pentacles. They are dedicated mothers. They are good moms. And it's like they might be remembering or they might be thinking about this person fondly. Like they were very good to this person. They were caring to this person. This person, this emperor had no issue with who this person is who has passed away. It could be your child, a relative, something like that. They've got no grievance with this person. They were always caring. They were always kind. They were always open toward this emperor. They were open-hearted. You know, they wore their heart on their sleeve, you know? So they could be arguing about this. This is a big fucking turnoff for this emperor. They just, you know, this is... It might be ending something here. It's like this is a disaster. 
who does that they're thinking like who would say that about somebody you don't even know they don't know your family they don't know who's important to you and why do they have an opinion this person is like why do you even have an opinion how are you going to judge the empress and judge this person in the empress's family how can you even judge them you don't even freaking know them This person is said a prayer for this person. They have prayed for this person. They would wish them well. They would be like, this person might be longing for you. Because now it's like, they regret. I mean, come on. They know that you might be grieving. Okay? They're in regret. They're almost like going, I should have been there to reach out. I should have reached out. Why didn't I reach out? Like, This person saw a future with you. Their conscience told them something. Like their conscience is telling them. Like they regret treating you the way that they did, okay? They kind of might be embarrassed. They might be ashamed of how they treated you. But that is definitely... They might have shed some tears here, just saying. I mean, if you've lost a loved one, who can't relate to that? This pitch must be very freaking gold. That they cannot have empathy for someone who may have lost someone dear to them. Maybe your person lost somebody dear to them. And this freaking karmic's just all like, all about them. It's like, <laughs> I, I can hear it. This person's like embarrassed. It's like. Who can't relate to somebody and offer condolences if somebody passes? You know what I mean? That shows how cold some of these people are. Empathy. This person regrets juggling. They could have learned of someone's passing. They could have learned that somebody transitioned. This is someone cold. And they're starting to see, you know... Like when you walk into a room, you command attention. You have the power to influence the room. Whoever they're with, they're a jerk. They're a jerk. They cannot show empathy. They cannot, this might be going on in their own relationship. If no one passed away in your family, or no one passed close to you, then it's about them and this person having a karmic child with them. They are unempathetic. 
apathetic. They are cold. They are unnurturing. It's like it's all for show. And they're like, when you've been with somebody that loving and nurturing, whether you get along with that person or not, they know you're a good mom. They know you're loving. They know you're nurturing. And that is one thing that this person can respect in you. That you are loving and nurturing, genuine, loyal, and dedicated. Whereas this person over here that they're dealing with, they don't respect them as a human being. They don't. They might be very immature. They might be very, very young-minded, like an immature mind where everything is a joke, everything is funny, everything is this. They have zero true empathy for anyone else. When they hear the news of like someone passing, it's a joke. Like cold. Just cold. People should watch their words, is what I'm hearing. Like, they may have talked about this person. They may have made fun of this person. And then they pass away. Shows. You know, what kind of personality they are. They're mean. Maybe they're a mean girl, a mean guy. They're just mean. They're, they're mean. just like a very selfish energy and that's who they want to attach themselves to they're welcome to it <laughs> I swear they are welcome to it some hard ass cold ass all about me energy that would be the biggest turn off for me and they are being turned off by this person. They're like trying to resist temptation. They are figuring out the truth. I can only speak for me. I would not, I would get angry too. This person's angry at how this person views life or the complete disrespect, disregard of human emotion. Completely like, if it doesn't serve them, They can't show affection. They can't show genuine empathy for another human being.
And quite honestly, if your person was like that, cold and unempathetic, the two deserve one another. Because I'm telling you, when push comes to shove and people go, go through hard times, it's sure nice having someone who can understand and be empathetic. I would not want a cold, hard-ass life. You know what I mean? Be with somebody that I'm unempathetic. I would probably be embarrassed too. I would be. I know I would be. If one, if my partner was unempathetic toward other people, that would be a huge turn off for me. You know? It's like a little comparing going on, a little comparison going on. about sexuality you know what I mean after it's all said and done you know after the honeymoon stage wears off and the sexuality is not like the way it used to be what's left but an empty shell of a human being Looks fade, you know. Sexuality dwindles away over the years. What are you stuck with? The real person. And I think that rea reality setting in. teaches you what you value in a person, what you respect in a person, what you, the qualities of a person, what kind of character they are, how do they relate to others, how, how do they respond under pressure, how do they respond when they hear sad news or bad news. Do they feel for that person? Do they mourn for that person? Do they offer a helping hand? Do they offer condolences and sympathies? Or do they just sit there, well, it didn't happen to me. I, I don't know, you know, like, I don't know. I wouldn't want to be with a person like that. Genuinely, I'm not just saying that. I would want someone who is empathetic. I would want someone who is kind. I would want somebody who cared about how other people are feeling. They're, it's going to be, if they're already getting turned off with it, People are very, they're turning more unempathetic as the years go on, but you lose something very special by doing that. That is close relationships with people. That's showing 
zero empathy cannot be healthy healthy for you or a relationship and like i said they're here in for a sexual purpose a financial purpose perhaps what's all surface level stuff what happens when you're grieving what happens when you need empathy what happens when you need a shoulder to cry on or someone to uplift you they're forgetting about those things they're with someone very very detached very cold-hearted who really wouldn't give about a shit about anybody except for themselves. Take care.